All right, Andrew, let's see what we can do with uh, my handheld camera work with the GoPro because I'm an idiot and I forgot my actual mount. <laughs> let's roll. Let's roll. Uh, unmarked obstacles exist. I love that we ski right onto the lake. Oh, come on, didn't you like it better? And he, I think he came here and he was like, you know what, the lift lines here are just too darn fast. People aren't going to think this is a good resort unless they have to wait in line for 40 minutes. So, That's uh, one approach. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what they do in Japan where they'll pay people to stand in a line to make a line long for something. So people go, wow, the line's really long. It must be a really good thing. Yeah. But uh, despite despite the Japanese population in Seattle, they underestimated the uh, desire for long lines yes. here in the Pacific Northwest. No. <laughs> lines are definitely not what they're made at. No. But... Yeah, I haven't skied Vail, but I've heard stories of people having to wait in line for 40 minutes, 50 minutes to just ride the first lift of the day that would be a very long one yeah i'm just not i'm just not doing that i guess it gets better once you get further into the mountain right. especially you're at, you're at lifts that are more difficult that weeds out all the people that are just 
people with too much money and not enough sense that can only ski up green circles. But uh, still, I don't want to wait 40 minutes to ride the first lift. No, no, not at all. Yeah, ski right onto them. That works out pretty well for me. Yeah, like even if it's a day with like needy powder and it's like the consistency of like confectioner's sugar, is that dry? It's like, I don't want to wait 40 minutes for that. No, but can you imagine skiing through that type of sugar? I would not mind if it gets to my mouth. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Huh. Uh, it would be a lot of fun to go skiing in Japan with you. That would be fun. Your kids would love Japan. They would love it. And then, and then all of Japan would love your kids. <laughs> The problem is, is that Malachi and the girls might both, all three of them would probably walk out with overly inflated egos. Yes. Thinking like, well, we already were the most special children in the world, but now we've had an entire nation state confirm it to us that we, we truly are the most special children in the world. I know. People just like give Lydia things. I, th I think we've told you this, but like, I don't know if it's the look in her eyes or... Like we'll be at a, a parade and and like all the kids will get a lot of candy, but like Lydia will get like a pile right at her feet. Oh, <laughs> wow! If she gets that here in the states, then it's gonna be, you know, you know that cubed. If you take her to Japan, we, we went into the bakery the other day and we were sitting there looking at like you know we're eating some maple bars and some other things, and then one of the employees just comes out with two cookies with sprinkles on them for the girls. And Man. they were so happy, right? So they're just like, wow, we just exist and get stuff. Cool. <laughs> I know. Great. They're, just, they're a really cool bakery. But. Although they are, you know, I guess that is what, you know, they're well behaved in public. So, I mean, then. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not a bad thing to reinforce to, to children that it's like, oh, you're, you're behaving well in public. You, get, you're, you know, here's positive affirmation for being well behaved. Do you know what they call um, maple bars on the East Coast? Long Johns? No, it's even worse. What is it? They call them maple donuts. They're not a donut. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. They call them maple donuts. It's appalling. It's wrong. If you're anyone in my audience that lives in Vermont or Massachusetts or Virginia, it's not a maple donut. It's a maple bar. You're wrong. <laughs>